Hello, my first and second grade musical scholars. It's great to be back with you again. You might notice that I'm wearing my pajamas right now. That's because the school that I was at today, Northwest Lutheran, they had pajama day. Perhaps um, you're wearing your pajamas right now. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on at your school or at your home. But I'm just so glad you're joining me right now because we've got a lot of wonderful, fun Christmas songs to do today. But first, of course, we have to start with Hola. Hola. guitar down for a moment because it is devotion time. Yes, we always start off our wonderful musical time with a devotion. And today's devotion is going to be Go Tell It on the Mountain. Hmm. Have you ever had something that was so wonderful that you could not wait to share that news? I wonder, think in your mind, if there you just had to rush into school and tell your teacher, or rush in the door or tell mom or grandma or your uncle or somebody some special news. Well, let's hear about this special news today. My brother entered a coloring contest sponsored by a local bakery. He was proud of the picture he had drawn of our family at the dinner table, eating bread. When it was announced that he won first prize, we couldn't wait to tell everyone the good news. When something special happens, you want to tell everyone. Well, something special has happened, and that something special has a name. His name is Jesus. God so loved the world that he sent his son to be born in a stable in Bethlehem. His name means God saves. And that's the good news we must tell. Jesus has come to save. Are you saved? How do you know? You love and trust in Jesus. And here's our scripture verse today from John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Let's say that very short. I'll say part of it first. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That's it. Fold your hands now. We're going to say this short little prayer. Repeat after me. Father, something special has happened to me. I am saved. I will tell everyone about Jesus' love. Amen. Amen. So you can go and tell somebody today. You can go out into your neighborhood, in your school, in your home, to your auntie's house, whoever it is. You can go tell them about Jesus because, my friends, that is the real reason for Christmas. We have lots of Christmas songs and presents and Christmas cookies and the lights and the decorations. Those are all wonderful, but the real reason is Jesus. So we're going to celebrate that today in this next song that we're going to do, which is Away in a Manger. Now, last time when we were together, we learned verse 2 and we had already learned verse 1. Today, we're going to learn verse 3. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of a reminder. We'll start with verse 1, away in a manger, no crib for a bed. I'm going to do the actions. Try to sing along with me, okay? So we put our hands out like this and sing. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus 
laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Remember that? Now remember the next part where we talk about the cattle. Those are cows. The cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky. And stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Now, here's the last part. And it's, it goes like this, and I'm going to sing the whole thing so you can see how it goes. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay. Close by me forever, and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and fit them for heaven to live with thee there. I'll sing it one more time. Be near me, Lord Jesus. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay. Close by me forever, and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care, and fit them for heaven to live with thee there. That very beautiful song, Away in a Manger. I love that song. So now, I told you we've got some other fun songs coming. So I'm going to sing a song that some of you are going to remember. It's called Christmas is Coming. And the actions are very easy. I have Lassie who is just waiting to say hello up here. So I'm just going to take her up here for a moment. She's going to say hello, right? Okay. She's going to say hello. Yep. And then she's going to get down so I can so I can do my music. There she goes. She wants to play right now. And so, okay, we're going to sing First Christmas is Coming. And then I've got special friends who are going to sing it too. Here's the song. Oh, here's the song. Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. Please put a penny in the old man's hat. If you haven't got a penny, a half penny will do. If you haven't got a half penny, then God bless you. Oh, raise your hand if you already know that song. Oh, it's one I've been singing for years, so I love it. You probably are, learned it in K4 or K5. Let's do it one more time before I... Put the special music on. Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. Please put a penny in the old man's hat. If you haven't got a penny, a half penny will do. If you haven't got a half penny, then God bless you. All right, I hope you are ready for my special friends right now called the Muppets. You're going to hear especially, I think, Miss Piggy, who doesn't always listen. Robert? Yes, Miss Piggy. This is what we're going to sing. Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. Please do put a penny in the old man's hat. If you haven't got the penny, a head penny will do. If you haven't got the head penny, then God bless you. Good. You're coming up. You do those actions?
don't think she did know that. She's never listening very well. All right, well, I've got another special song right now, and I just have to move out of camera range for a moment and just get the song. Oh, yes, it's called I Want to Be an Elf. I love this song. As soon as I can find it. Here it is. I'm so glad I've got it. I would not want you to miss this song, especially because you're going to get to see the words in front of you for I Want to Be an Elf. An elf is Santa's helper, always watching. And they're the ones who make all the Christmas toys. Oh, yeah. So let's listen to I Want to Be an Elf right now. I'll cue up the music. And you can start looking at those words. you like to be an elf? I don't know. I think it could be kind of fun being with Santa all the time. I would like that. Well, speaking of Santa, it must be time to sing a song about Santa. And it's called Must Be Santa. Ah, you've got a you've got a very important part because your part is going to go like this. some things about Santa in this song. Who's got a beard that's long and white? Santa's got a beard that's long and white. Who comes around on a special night? Santa comes around on a special night. Special night. Beard that's white. Your turn. Must be Santa. Must be Wears a long cap on his head. Santa wears a long cap on his head. Cap on head, suit that's red. Special night, beard that's white. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Santa Claus. Oh, I can only imagine how well you are singing. Got a great big cherry nose. Santa's got a great big cherry nose. Who laughs this way? Ho, ho, ho. Santa laughs this way. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Cherry nose. Cap on head. Suit that's red. Special night. Beard that's white. Must be
Little reindeer pull his sleigh. Reindeer sleigh, come our way. Ho, 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 cherry nose, cap on head, suit that's red, special night, beard that's white. just sang about Santa. I think that we have to sing Jingle Bells, don't you? I love singing Jingle Bells, especially when I know Santa's coming. So here we go. You might even hear some bells in the background. Listen. Those elves are watching too, I think. song. Well, I got a couple more that we're going to get a chance to do, but before we do that, I want to share with you my old lady book. Now I know a lot of times you go, oh, I heard that in kindergarten, but you know what? There's so much fun because I'm going to show the book. You can sing along with me if you want to. That old lady, she's always swallowing something. And I just love singing about what she is swallowing. So here we go. There was an old lady who swallowed a bell. How it jingled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. I wish she'd tell. There was an old lady who swallowed some bows. Soft as the snow were those velvety bows. She swallowed the bows to tie up the bell that jingled and jangled and tickled as well. Don't want to turn too many pages. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. Oh, I wish she'd tell. There was an old lady who swallowed some gifts. It gave her a lift to swallow the gifts. She swallowed the gifts to go with the bows. She swallowed the bows to tie up the bell that jingled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. Oh, I wish she'd tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a sack. It was easy to pack a very big sack. She swallowed the sack to hold all the gifts. She swallowed the gifts to go with the bows. She swallowed the bows to tie up the bell that jingled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. Oh, I wish she'd tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a sleigh. What a ton it weighed, that shiny red sleigh. Just don't try this at home, okay? Oh, 
page is sticking and a dog who's after attention here. She swallowed the sleigh to carry the sack. She swallowed the sack to hold all the gifts. She swallowed the gifts to go with the bows. She swallowed the bows to tie up the bell that jingled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. I wish she'd tell. There was an old lady who swallowed some reindeer. They were in full flight gear, those soaring reindeer. She swallowed the reindeer to steer the sleigh. She swallowed the sleigh to carry the sack. She swallowed the sack to hold all the gifts. She swallowed the gifts to go with the bows. She swallowed the bows to tie up the bell that jingled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. Oh. I wish she'd tell. Then the old lady, she needed a treat. She thought a candy cane would be very sweet. But when she heard a jolly, ho, 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 she knew it was time for her to go. I wonder where she's going. So she whistled loudly, and soon by her side was Santa Claus waiting for a ride. Well, no wonder that old lady swallowed all these things. She's Santa's helper. Happy holidays to all. Now, wasn't that fun? Oh, yes can have so much fun at Christmas. Oh, but you know what? I'm thinking to have a lot of fun at Christmas. I'm thinking if I were a reindeer, what would I be? Hmm. Well, I'm going to put the music on right now, and you're going to get a chance to see the words, all right? If I were a reindeer, what would I be? And I'm just looking for the number. So hang on just a second. Here it is. You're going to like this song.
you be doing if you were a reindeer? Hmm, I don't know, but maybe you'd be singing Feliz Navidad. Ah, because it's fun to sing in Spanish. Feliz Navidad means Merry Christmas, Prospero Año y Felicidad, and a Happy New Year. So we're going to be singing that right now. And if you can pretend to have some shakers or maracas, that would even be better. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. I want to wish you a merry got to sing We Wish You a Merry Christmas. You bet, because that is going to be our goodbye song today. So, get ready. You might even hear a few bells in the background. Christmas and remember the real reason for Christmas is Jesus. So stay safe, stay healthy, have a blessed, wonderful Christmas and New Year, and I look forward to singing with you again in January. Goodbye.